So Keir Starmer was asked today if it was appropriate for Israel to cut off power, to cut off water to the Gaza Strip. He said Israel does have that right, with the caveat, obviously everything should be done within international law. I'm no doubt you're familiar with Article 54 of the Geneva Conventions from the 1977 Act. Starvation of civilians as a method of warfare is prohibited. So what was Sakir Starmer talking about? What he was talking about was that Israel has been the victim of terrorism. And we, we understand that. And, and, and Israel has an absolute right to defend itself. We understand that. And there is an ongoing war going on at the moment. We've heard tonight, haven't we, that planes can't l land in Tel Aviv. The foreign secretary has been put into a bunker. I mean, the war is active at the moment, and Israel needs to be able to not only find these, find all the terrorists, and but also rescue the people who have sure. been, who have been, but, who, who but have been, starvation of civilians no, as no, a method of warfare saying, is no, no. prohibited. And, and I mean, I don't know on a day by day basis what the plan is. I do know, as you as you know as well, that Blinken is going over to to Israel. That there is a you're not dealing of, with this point that I'm putting to I, you. I am dealing. It with is it, prohibited I'm, to I'm attack, dealing... destroy, remove, or render useless objects indispensable to the survival of the civilian population, such as foodstuffs, agricultural areas, crops, livestock, drinking water. Yes, etc. And what, and we've just heard, haven't we, from the former permanent representative to the United Nations, that if there is, you know, as part of perhaps a, I mean, and as I say, we don't know, and we're not in a position to be commentators in a way in terms of of what the tactics will be on a day to day basis in relation to Israel, apart from the fact that they're defending themselves. Well, but but if, wait, wait, no, 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 that let they're me, cutting off food, electricity, and let water. me finish. Let me finish. So if they are going to go into Gaza in order to be able to get the hostages, mm. if as the the permanent representative has said, you know, that if there was a short period where they were taking one, but it was a short period and they were taking one particular tactic and then there was a, but I mean, I don't They've know. already cut off the food. I, mean, I hear the what electric. you're saying, but what I'm saying is that... Is that against that, international law? It's really simple. So Keir no, what is doesn't seem to think it is. What is simple is that whatever actions are taken by a democracy, it has to be done in, in accordance with international law. Do, and we have so heard tonight from the, prime, from the, from the President of the United States that he has been on the phone to Netanyahu and both of them have agreed that democracies need to act in accordance with international okay. law. Pause there if I may. Do you think cutting off food, water and electricity is within international law? I think that Israel has an absolute right to defend itself That's against terrorism. That's not the question I asked. It is an answer to the question that, that you've asked, and I think it's an appropriate one at this time. Why won't you answer whether you think it's in line with international law or not? Because I've tried to answer, and I've tried to, 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 I've tried to say that we've already heard from your previous guest about what might be happening on a day-to-day -day basis. So we're now on day four. And so the, we hear that there are, there are troops massing on the border. There may well be an incursion. In the, in, immediately before an incursion, then, as the permanent representative have said, that it might be appropriate in those circumstances for there to be the sort of action that we've heard about. And then the, then the, then the invasion afterwards. I don't know, because at the moment we're in the middle of a hot war and, and Israel is in the middle of defending itself. And we have to stand with Israel, just like we would expect people to stand with us if we were the victims of terrorism as well.